Rocket Mac Dice. If you're here looking for detailing content, there's none of that in this video, so you can move on. However, if you are interested in how the Media Mod microphone for the GoPro compares to the Rode Video Micro, you're in the right place. So let's watch on. Everything I've said to you so far has been on the Media Mod with the front facing mic. In a minute, I'm gonna switch over to the Rode and you're gonna see the difference between those two. Bearing in mind, I'm inside at the moment, but this is not a good room for acoustics. So let's see what the road sounds like. Now we're on the road. The first thing you'll notice is it's quite quiet, isn't it? I've not done any editing on this. This is just how it is raw. So there's two ways to address this. The first is this. And I've done this in post. Uh, well, basically I've detached the audio in iMovie and copied the audio track a couple of times, increasing both of those to 400%. And that's the, this is the audio you get from doing that. Then there's the other option, which is this. So now I've gone into the settings menu, preferences, go down to mods, and then I've changed the mic input from standard to standard plus. This only applies when you're plugging in a third party mic like I've done here. And you plug it into the media mod. So you have to have the media mod in order to be able to do this anyway. There's quite a big difference, isn't there? So let me just turn the volume down to 75%. Um, as to which sounds better, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done the side-by-side -side comparison yet and I haven't done the editing, so we'll see in a minute. The process to do this is pretty easy. Um, what I would say is there's a limitation that you can really only use the lens in linear mode when you're, doing, uh, when you're using an external mic, especially with the dead cat on, which is on at the moment on the video micro. And the reason I say you can only really use the um, use it in this, this mode is as soon as you go wider than the linear lens, you can see the dead cat in the field of view. That's not an issue with the media mod. All right, we're outside now and about a meter away from the camera. And this is in linear and I'm using the uh, media mod front facing. There's a bit of ambient noise. There's some birds tweeting. There's the odd plane that flies over. This is a good context to use it in outside, pretty close to the camera, not even to talk too loud, and there's not too much ambient noise. But let's see what it looks like with the road. And now with the road, same setup, same situation, I'm using it with the standard mic plus setting all the time now. I'm not gonna bother using the standard mic and having to increase the volume in post so you can really get to see what this feels like. Because that volume is so quiet, it's not really worth it. However, I also mentioned that there's an issue with using the road and then using the wider field of view. So this is linear, this is wide. You can just about see it in the corner of frame, can't you? Just about there, the dead cat, and that is it set up like this. So you can see what that looks like. Um, now let me just do it in super view, so you can really see it, and then I'll do one going back with the media mod so you can do another comparison, but without the, um, the road on, so you can see the, the field of view is uninterrupted. And that's super view. Okay, a bit more dead cat. But you need the dead cat on, I think. So a definite merit to using the media mod on its own because now, uninterrupted field of view. That's beneficial. I don't know how useful it is when you're this far. I'm pretty close. I'm less than a meter now, yet I look really wide and distorted. So is there a benefit to that capability? Don't know, maybe if you're vlogging. So then finally, there's a situation you'd be in a noisier environment. This fine, we're by a main road. Uh, this is where I think the road would have the edge, but right now I'm on the uh, media mod, front facing, with the dead cat on. It's doing pretty well, I think. Let's see, another car's about to come past while I talk. And I'll switch over to the uh, road. Now we're on the road, so same road I'm walking down as well. <laughs> um, it's a lot noisier down here than I thought, and this is where I think the road in the past has done really well but I'm not too sure. I mean, there's lots of ambient noise, there's lawn mowers, it's a bit quieter here, obviously. And then in a minute, there's gonna be a couple more cars coming past. So we'll really be able to see which of these has been beneficial. Well, let's see what we can do in iMovie to tidy this up. So now I've got the hum reduction, uh, EQ setting and noise reduction set to 45%. Uh, this is where I think the road would have the edge, but right now I'm on the uh, media mod front facing with the dead cat on. It's doing pretty well, I think. Let's see, another car's about to come past while I talk. And I'll switch over to the uh, road.
And I'll do the same thing here. So we've got the hum reduction in the EQ setting and reduced background noise set to 45%. Um, it's a lot noisier down here than I thought. And this is where I think the road in the past has done really well, but I'm not too sure. I mean, there's lots of ambient noise, there's lawn mowers. It's a bit quieter here, obviously. And then in a minute, there's gonna be a couple more cars coming past. So we'll really be able to see which of these has been beneficial. In case you were wondering, this is the quick release tripod adapter I've been using for my GoPro. It's absolutely brilliant, link in the description. Well, there we have it. In most situations, the Rode is the better mic to have. There's definitely some convenience to be had from the media mod. It's always there. It's better than the inbuilt one. I think it's still waterproof, it's definitely water resistant. So there are relative merits there to using the mic on the media mod. The biggest benefit is of the media mod to me is the cold shoe mounts that it gives you, there's two on there, and also the ability to then plug in the external mic and charge directly through the thing without having to take the side of your unit off and plug in there, and also being able to connect to a mini HDMI out. So there's lots of benefits to the media mod, but if you really want good audio, I would say invest in a better microphone, like the Rode Video Micro or the new Micro 2. Links to everything that I've used have been down in the description, so if you want any of those bits, feel free to get them there. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.